peaceful jungle where predator and prey live side by side. Where graceful birds glide through the air. And sweet honey flows like rain. <sighs> I don't ever want to forget moments like these. I've got to start my photo album. Photo album? <laughs> Sounds unnatural. It's important. How else are future generations going to see how we looked right now if we don't document it with pictures? Uh, like I said. <laughs> Smile! <laughs> Stop! I don't want anyone looking at me when I don't know it. What if they make fun of my fur, my teeth, or my... Toes? Uh, now generations will laugh at my toes. This probably wasn't the smartest place to hide. Yeah! Ooh, oh well, good, a wacky picture. George, get in there with Ape. Yes, yes, one moment. <laughs> George, whatever you've done to your hair is great. Ooh, George, you do look handsome. Uh, handsome? Bear, give me back my camera. <laughs> my memories. I didn't even get a picture of all of us together. <laughs> oh, we'll do jungle pictures instead. It's a little different, but it'll work. Okay, listen up, people. We are going to meet later at my treehouse for a group jungle picture. And if you don't show up, I will hunt you down and tie you to a tree. It'll be fun. Uh, George will try to stay handsome. So, how do you take a jungle picture? A drawing, a carving? Okay, first you have to keep your mouth closed. This is what a mud impression looks like when it's done. We'll just pull it off when... Oh! A pimple! A pimple! Daddy! You think George is handsome? <laughs> well, compared to everyone else around here. Hmm. I like the hair, but... You do need to work on your posture, diction, and your knees. My... my knees? Yeah, they point in too much. Still, I suppose he's handsome enough to hang out with us. Wow! Now that is handsome! with that new hair. <laughs> How about I bring you some of my homemade mud pies later? Uh, thanks. She makes the best mud pies. When do I get one? George, everybody treats handsome people better. Watch. Ahem. <laughs> um, I think I'll have... <laughs> Can I help you, gentlemen? Ooh, pretty feathers, big whoop. Wow, George didn't realize being handsome was so important. <laughs> Here's another one on the house, Mr. King of the Jungle, sir. He's the king of the jungle? Why didn't we know that? Ooh, brainstorm. Tell me, George, do you like being handsome? It feels great. I wish everyone were handsome. Yes, exactly. Call the others. Meet at the Cave of Mirrors. <laughs> <clears throat> your attention, please. Hey, I'm over here. Can you take your face out of the mirror for one second? Oh. Our time has come. Soon, we will rid the jungle of the uglies once and for all. 
With the Jungle King in our tiny uh, but beautiful claws, the jungle will once again be beautiful. Beautiful! Beautiful! Barry, be back later? We have two doctors, and they're both gone, and there are people in this jungle getting pimples. <sighs> Ursula? Magnolia? Is my pimple gone? George is almost finished. Are you sure this looks like a door to a beauty salon? It, uh, it goes around the whole jungle. Well, uh, this way we won't see the animals getting their improvements. Mm, right. So it would be so much a big surprise when they come back. Boy, being handsome must make you smart, too. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I came in to get this bee sting off my face for the <sighs> picture. Just stay away from the medicine cabinet. Hey! Haircuts! Get your handsome haircuts and bands right on the other side! Wow, being handsome is, is hard work. How did you get to be king looking like that? <laughs> Put this on. The salon sent it as an early beauty treatment. Oh, uh, we don't see a beauty salon out here. Oh, yeah, it's behind a couple of trees. <laughs> Maybe you should go on the ugly side and show them. Right! Uh, uh, wait. Ugly side? Now! Yeah. Hmm. Uh, fellas? George? Yeah! <laughs> What's this huge wall doing here? Well, George thought he was building a big door to a beauty salon so all the animals could go get handsome like us. Oh, uh, George and the peacocks, us. Not, uh, not us, us. Excuse me? See, if the animals are handsome like George, the jungle would be friendlier. I'm not feeling so friendly right now. Did you ever think that maybe those peacocks were tricking you because they wanted the jungle all to themselves? No, but maybe I should have when they put the bag on my head. Well, what do we do now? George is going to get back jungle for all us ugly people. Ugly people? Oh, yeah. Tookie Tookie. Lift George over that wall. He's gonna blow! Before. George didn't want to mess up his hair. Uh. Hmm. George has an idea. Hey there, handsome. Uh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> My hair! <laughs> Look who's handsome now. Ah! My plume! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to us? <laughs> <laughs> My perfect perfection! You! What about me? I was the good looking one. You wish.
Okay, everybody ready? We're finally gonna do this. Hit it, Shep. In the jungle, it is beast versus beast in a gruesome struggle for territory. Excuse me, I was sunbathing here. Um, and have you seen my plump, slow-moving cousin? <laughs> but nearby, there is another kind of struggle. Man versus Apes Recycled Potluck Mystery Meal. Uh, George thinks he solved the mystery. George, don't play with your food. Or, uh, did you wipe your feet 2,000 times before you came inside? No. Well, go, go! Hey, that's gonna take him an hour. He'll miss this delicious dinner. Oh, it's the only way I can have a little time away from George. 531, 532. I need a little personal space. So, I was gonna ask you guys. Oh my gosh, I think he needs to talk about his feelings. Yay! Okay, Mr. Keep It All Locked Up Inside Guy, let it out. Tell us your feelings. Uh, I was just gonna ask you to help me tie him up and leave him in a cave. Only for a month or so. I think you're being a little dramatic. Oh, no, I'm not. He shows up everywhere I am. Everywhere. When I'm reading... What are George and Abe reading? When I'm slurping... George brought his own straw! <laughs> when I'm bathing... <laughs> Two thousand! Whew! My feet hurt. Hello, sneaky stranger! Well, how did you see me? George notices everything in the jungle. <laughs> I'm Jungle Joel. Perhaps you've heard of my restaurant chain, <laughs> Planet Junglewood. Yeah, I just opened one in the jungle. We're famous for our collection of jungle collectibles, knickknacks, doodads, and authentic forest memorabilia. Does Bud look clean to you? <laughs> Say, I could use a strong, unsuspecting fellow like you to carry things for me. But George spends every second of the day with his best friend, Ape. Well, if you change your mind, call me. Joel? <laughs> you have to tell George right out. Even best friends need time alone. He's a big guy. He can take it. <laughs> I guess girl time didn't work. And all those times when George asked what Ape was doing and you said... You were asleep. I'm sorry, George. Sometimes I just need some space. Maybe you should spend some time with other people, too. Okay? Okay. Meanwhile, Joel got busy doing what he does best. Hmm? Hmm? I leave for one second and the house is gone. <laughs> what is it? Did something valuable go inexplicably missing? Cape says George needs other friends. Will Jungle Joel be George's other friend? Why, of course. And I'm sure you want to get back at him by betraying him in some horrible way. No. Ape's still George's best friend. Oh. Just a best friend who doesn't want George putting on his deodorant for him. Tell me, new friend, has this ape ever spoken of an ancient wooden box deep in the jungle with a stone banana on its door that none should ever touch? And where it is? Yep. Since we're friends, maybe you could take me there. Okay, follow George. Magnolia, we have a reservation at Planet Junglewood. What's the scene there? Is it dressy, non-dressy, or non-dressy dressy? Well, you've got on is fine. This is a bath towel. <gasps> but with the right purse. <laughs> Here it is, the cursed box no one should ever even touch. Finally, people will come from all four corners of the world for a chance to not touch this box. <laughs> I bet you a peanut. You're not strong enough to lift it. Ha! George can lift anything. 
<laughs> Bet you another peanut you're not strong enough to carry it all the way to my restaurant. <laughs> Boy, some people should not bet. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Something terrible's happened. <gasps> they ran out of loaded potato skins? King Shakefista's most cursed relic is missing. King who's what? Long ago, King Shakefista ruled the apes. Have you brought me treasures out of respect for my power? Uh, no, actually, I just wanted to use the bathroom. He had the only bathroom in the jungle and became furious as more of his subjects visited him just to use the facilities. Come you to exalt me with praise? Yeah, sure, your hair looks great. Which way to the bathroom? <laughs> so he cursed the bathroom. If it was ever touched by a hand other than his, all apes would be flushed from the jungle forever. Someone has stolen it, and the apes are being flushed away. Well, go get George! Oh, sure. Get away from me. Find new friends. And, oh, by the way, I need this huge favor. What's worse, saying you're sorry or getting flushed by a cursed potty? Hmm. What was my first choice again? <laughs> By the way, it's... I don't want to get flushed. Oh, of course. <laughs> Silly question. Listen, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings earlier, but someone stole King Shakefista's sacred bathroom, and his ancient curse is flushing all the apes from the jungle. What does this bathroom look like? Uh, a rectangular box, about the size of that thing on your shoulder. We don't even know where to look. It's mine! Mine! <laughs> Wait! <gasps> look out! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the most special relic we've ever featured, the ancient bathroom of the Eighth King! <laughs> Please, if that was really the cursed bathroom, those apes over there would be... <laughs> he must be in there, along with everything else he's stolen. Stolen? He probably stole all those jungle knickknacks, just like he stole the king's bathroom. In that case... <laughs> what was that? It means, hey, everybody, come get all your stuff! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sorry, I don't have anything until 8 o'clock. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think our brownie explosion's coming. My precious jungle chutzkies, my knickknacks, my goo guys, my bathroom. No! Oh, my bathroom is okay. <laughs> I'm not ruined. Uh, George, I bet you a peanut you can't help me run away with this so I can come back and do the same thing all over again. Joel won't get away with this. Why? Because you and your former best friend, Ape, say so? Ooh, ooh, ah! I'm Ape, and I just want to be alone, away from George, because he's so annoying. Ooh, 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 ah! <laughs> I'm a ooh ooh ah! ah. Wait, I, I'm not an ape. Ah, I was just dead. Ah. And with that, King Shakefist's curse was lifted. George, catch me! No. Does this mean? Need so much personal space? Oh, our bill. Ah! Too bad.
bad about Joel. Those potato skins looked good. Don't worry. We got plenty of recycled potluck mystery meal. And there's no one I'd rather share it with. <laughs> But girls raised in the urban jungle are not so natural. Ursula, be careful! How hard can it be? hurt swinging on a vine. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Behold! My brand new tree collision avoidance system. It's super easy. Just grab the blue vine, merge left on the red arrow, slow down at flashing yellow lights, and always stop for orangutans. The natural beauty of the wild can never be tamed by the regulations of so-called civilization. Just try it. I stand corrected, Ursula. Your system has taken the hodgepodge of nature's beauty and turned it into a simple, orderly way to maneuver through the jungle. George, I can't wait to see what you think. Go on. <laughs> Good thing sign there. George almost hit tree. But I don't want to wear a helmet. It makes George look stupid. This is just until you learn the system. Besides, no one's going to be looking at your helmet. Oh, really? Not when you're wearing the matching safety vest. Plus, a parachute backpack and boots that light up and talk. Please help me. I am Vine Challenge. George, maybe you should pull over to a slower vine. Uh oh, not a vine. Please help me. I am vine challenged. Maybe you could enroll in Apes Academy of Remedial Vine Swinging. Uh, does George have to wear a safety outfit? Not if you do well in class. Yeah! Vine challenged, vine challenged. Okay, class, who can tell me what this is? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> a snake standing up? It is a vine. V I N E. Can Ape repeat that? Moving on to proper vine grabbing technique. Professor Ape, uh, there's something behind you? Just ignore it. <laughs> hey, no kid. Why are you in this dumb class? George just needs to learn new system better. <laughs> George! B but it wasn't... Hijinks will not be tolerated. After school, you will clean the gum off everyone's tree stump. Sorry. Pete really has it in for you. A clear jungle yell tells everyone you're ready to swing. George, let's have a jungle yell, then jump off. Hey, I know what we should call a new kid. Thud. 
Because that's the sound his head makes when it hits stuff. <laughs> hey, Scott! <laughs> oh, oh, call me George of the Jungle. No, see, if you hang with us, you got to have a snappy nickname. They call me Snake, because I'm the baddest one. Then what do they call you? Norman. You see, Snake used to be called Snake, but then Monkey came along, and he was way badder, so he took the name Snake. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. George, I think it would be best for everyone if you wore this to class from now on. Whoa! You gonna let him make you wear that lame suit? Thud says no! Blah, 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 It's getting harder to tell you boys in the back row apart. <laughs> Ape has appointed me school counselor to talk with his most troubled students. Whatever. School is boring. Ape is boring. Vine system is boring. So that's how it is, huh? Look, buddy boy, you better start thinking a little more about your future and a little less about the past. You need to stop hanging out with them troublemakers and start hanging out with the consequences of your actions. Come on, Thud. We're waiting for you. Oh, gotta go. The bad kids are waiting for me. Let's go pick on the baby crocodiles. Yeah, they're such babies. I say we make some crank calls. George! Cutting class, huh? Uh, George has a note. George has permission to skip boring school. Signed, Mean Ape. I didn't write this. Okay, detention for everyone. Detention? All right! Thud rocks. <laughs> Thanks, bad guys. Well, better hurry. Don't want to be late for detention. <laughs> no way. Huh? We're just getting started. See that coconut? Bad I can knock it out of the tree. <laughs> nice one. Awesome. That's why they call me Snake, because I do the baddest stuff. Oh, <laughs> let Thud try. Whoa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, Thud should be Snake now. Hey, I worked hard to be Snake. Sorry, monkey. Thud deserves it more than you. Wow, <laughs> thanks. I'll show you who the real Snake is. What was that, Thud? <laughs> I'll show them all. later. Hey, that's Ursula's. Put it back. Do you still think you're the baddest, huh, big guy? All right. How about a little contest to see who's badder? Um, no thank you. Oh, I see. You're chicken? Oh, no, he didn't. Snake, he just challenged you. Yeah. Let's play a little chicken. <laughs> if George wins... George is the leader? <laughs> sure. And we'll do whatever you say. We swing straight for each other. First one to flinch is the chicken. But we haven't passed our vine swinging test yet. What are you, huh? Two chicken to play chicken? Chicken! George will be right back.
Don't do this! It's not safe! On the count of three. One, two, three! Before we start class, I'd like to introduce you to your new teacher's aide, George. With my new temporary vine swinging license. Whoopee. Yeah, yeah. Vine challenged, vine challenged, vine challenged. Ah, the jungle. Peaceful as a sleeping cobra. Until. Danger season strikes! When nature runs as rampant as a giant daisy with tornadoes and dinosaurs! What do you know? I'm not extinct! Help! Help! Beaver needs George! Help! Help! Big Mitch needs George! Big Mitch's disaster. Get it off! Get it off! Oh, don't be embarrassed about your nose. Some girls like that. Just punched in the face. Look, not my nose. What's on my nose? Get it off! Get it off! A ladybug? Oh, she won't hurt you. Be free, ladybug! <gasps> ladybug needs George. Hey, hey, hey! You're abandoning me already? Uh, what if a roly poly shows up? <gasps> Or a butterfly. Just call for help. As king of the jungle, George will help anyone in danger. Anytime, anywhere. <laughs> anyone in danger, eh? This sneaky marmoset feels a very shallow plan coming on. But first, a test. Help! Help! George is here to save you. I'm in terrible danger. This just finished popping, and I don't want to burn my fingers on the steam. No! George goes stick finger and face in snow. Hold up! Oh! Big Mitch is in more danger? You bet! This popcorn is dangerously salty. It could leave me dangerously parched. I need a hot cocoa. You don't mind, do you? Oh, George never minds. <laughs> One cocoa bean. <laughs> Two cocoa bean. <laughs> Three cocoa bean. <laughs> and now to make Mitch's cocoa hot. Is your hot cocoa? <laughs> what? No tiny marshmallows? George, I'm dangerously disappointed. Uh, Big Mitch needs George again? I'll let it slide. But only if you check under my bed for monsters. Looks clean from here. <laughs> <laughs> Test complete. He's tough and a sucker. The perfect one-two combo. With George under my non-opposable thumb, we'll see who's the real king of the jungle. The party king, that is. <sighs> George? George, you've been out all night, haven't you? And your day's completely booked with danger. 
<laughs> Big Mitch! Needed Coco! Coco? Oh, George. Big Mitch is a lazy scoundrel. You don't have to swing off every time he calls for help. Yes, George does. Doesn't Ape remember? George made a solemn promise long, long ago. I, George, solemnly promise that when I am king of the jungle, if any creature finds itself in danger, I shall immediately come to its aid, regardless of the danger to myself. Hmm, strange. You sounded much more articulate back then. If George breaks his solemn promise, he's not worthy to be king of jungle. George is king, and Big Mitch needs George. Stupid danger season. All this flaming rock in the air is giving me the freeze. The forecast says early morning meteor showers clearing the scattered frogs. Oh, there goes my complexion. Frogs! Ursula, Magnolia, hello. Hi, eh? How's George? Ridiculous. Big Mitch has been calling him in all sorts of fake emergencies. I don't know how he's gonna keep up with the real ones. Help! Help! Yeah! Bad giant plan. Uh, George, I'm entertaining tonight. You yeah. gotta weave me some play snacks. Go to the convenience <gasps> cave for Those... snacks. That obnoxious marmoset is totally using George. Doesn't he realize? I tried explaining, but George is determined to help him anyway. We're in danger of disappointing my guests. Maybe George will make clam dip. <laughs> Help! I need more salsa. Stop <gasps> right there, George. But Big Mitch needs more salsa. We know, but you can't help everyone all the time. George, we get that keeping your promise is important to you. So we decided to help you help others by helping Mitch while you help everyone else. Oh, but George promised to make mini pizzas. We can do that. Go! And if anyone from this party calls for help, ignore it. No matter what. Good sweet Sahara, please help! Right, George will ignore it. Not him, the party. Oh, okay, now I got gotcha. you. See you after the party. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Corn chips? Pork rhymes. Itty bitty marzipan ballet slippers. Big Mitch is back in action. Where's George? George is out helping people who actually need help. But I promised the guys he'd be here. Tough coconuts. We're filling in for him. Ah, oh, great. But okay, if that's the way you want it. <laughs> Cause it's fight night, baby, and you're the main event. Help! Help! Oh. Oh. Danger season's over. Now what to do? Help! Oh, no! And if anyone from this party calls for help, ignore it. No matter what. I'll be okay. Someone else needs you now. Uh-uh. Oh. Ah! George ignores the party. Ah! George ignores the... Not kidding, George! Get over here now! Hmm. Maybe George just go tell them to use their inside voices. Ding dong! <laughs> nuggie, nuggie, nuggie! Oh. oh, George, thank goodness. Get in there and put on a show. These friends of yours couldn't defend their lives if their lives depended on it. You put George's friends in cage? Well, it was supposed to be you, but you dumped these guys on me. Oh. Now my reputation as the party king is in serious danger. But George's friends are in danger. Correct, George! Big Mitch put them in danger just 
for fun? Uh, bingo! No, oh, big deal. I put you in danger just for fun a bunch of times. <gasps> big Mitch has been taking advantage of George? Duh! Ah. Oh, George will fight, all right. <laughs> cousin George? Cousin Papaya? Little Cousin Papaya? Is that really you? And I solemnly promise to thrash the daylights out of anyone who messes with my cousin George. <laughs> Just look at him, George. Our little cousin Papaya, all grown up. Where does the time go? Mm, ladybug. George? And George will help Big Mitch help himself. But maybe later. Get it off of me! Ah!